Hey, everybody, and welcome to this week's episode of New Strength Sugar Babes. And today we have a sugar babe all the way from Toowoomba. Well, not all the way. Well, it's pretty close to us, Toowoomba. Um, and she's a school teacher and she has one child who's 20. And we were just saying we're just about the same age and I've got no kids. So I was like, imagine if I have a kid next year, I'll be like 50, what do we say, 58, which is just <laughs> insane. Um, <laughs> um, but... Tammy, can you just, and I'll let you tell people because I just crap on, but um, can you tell the viewers why you joined the program? Um, I probably, it probably goes back to last year. I've had um, in, I've had four surgeries in the last 18 months. So last year I um, was playing netball and wrecked my knee and quite a lot. So I had five tears in it and I ended up in a brace for a couple of months by the time I'd had my first surgery. And the first surgery was a really big one. It didn't quite go to plan. And so it went two and a half hours, which they could have replaced my whole knee in that time. Um, Then, so because of all the weight before that surgery, I then had to have another one once I got it to a point that I could bend it enough. Um, So over the total, I think that went from about March to to August, but I don't react very well to, um, like, the anaesthetic and things like that. Like, I don't have any problems with it, but it takes me a long time to get it, you know, get over it. Yeah. Yeah. Someone said to me, you can sort of say about 12 weeks for every hour you're under anaesthetic. Really? Now, whether that's true or not, I don't know, but that's what someone has said to me. So, yeah, yeah, think about that. I had already had, I don't know, four weeks uh, sorry, four hours of surgery last year. Oh. And uh, after that after that surgery, um, I noticed things like my hair wasn't growing back. So I didn't even have to shave my legs for like six months because I hardly had any hair on them. I went to get my eyebrows and eyelashes done and my sister-in-law who does that said to me, oh, you don't actually have hair growing in places here. I had less eyelashes there, things like that. So... It had taken a lot out of me, I think, more than I thought anyway when yeah. I started to see that. So then in um, April this year they actually found a big skin cancer on the top of my head and to get rid of that they had to do a skin graft and the doctor said to me then, you probably won't get all your hair back mm. and it will take a long time for it to grow. So after having that first surgery I was really worried about the hair growth particularly being on my head and female and Mm-mm, of course yeah so um i started reading up about them and a lot of the um information that i was reading had said that success of a skin graft depends on how you care for it but also how healthy you are mm. and your diet and you know if you can maintain regular light exercise things like that so um that was probably i had the skin graft done and it turned out that I ended up, so I have a scar here, that's where they took the skin graft from, mm. and it ended up, it was about the size of my palm, so on the top of my head here I had a, a ball patch that the graft went on, and then they also did a flat repair, and I ended up with 27 staples that came down the here and along oh. the side of my head as well, so it turned out to be really large. <laughs> so, oh. um, And that totally wrecked my gut by the time I'd finished those because they they did one surgery for that and um, it had started growing down towards my skull so they had to do a second surgery and they've pretty much in a place taken out everything down to the bone so I've got nothing but skin and bone on my head (laughs) yeah it was a bit like that Um, but obviously with all those surgeries I went on um, antibiotics so they wrecked my gut as well Mm. and then I had um, Particularly with my head surgeries, I ended up being on oxycodone, trumbull, nurofen and panadol for nearly a month. Oh, and I remember that, having them after my boob job. And you get yeah. so constipated. Oh, oh terrible. So bad. Terrible. It was awful. Like, oh, it was terrible. I'd never had constipation that bad, not even when I had my son. Like, I, yeah, yeah. It was, um, and so by the time I had sort of seen a few things on new strength, but I knew that I, I had been on eating 1200 to 14 calories for oh, years, you know, mm-hmm. and while I had knee surgery, I thought, Oh, I'll try the keto diet. So I tried that, which then made me put on more weight. And then um, I'm like, okay, well, I've got to cut the calories back now to try and lose some of this weight. Cause I'm probably obviously gained some, not exercising. 
And um, oh, I was just shit. I was all over the place with my diet. Mm. And so I just wanted, what I wanted was I wanted someone to tell me how much I need to eat. I knew macros were important because I've sort of been around gyms and, you know, people yeah. doing all that stuff for a while. So I knew macros. I didn't know what my macros needed to be. I didn't know how much I should be eating and I didn't know what sort of foods I should be eating. So mm -hmm. when I looked into new strength, that's kind of what, what drew me to it. It was more the nutrients and getting healthy rather than the weight loss at this point. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Which is so kind good. Of, yeah, sorry. Yeah. It's kind of what led me to it, I guess. Yeah, no, but that's good because it's like, you know, you, and you'll find that if you tick all those boxes off at the start and y the weight will come off, like it will, if you train and be consistent, it'll come, like the fat will come off. Um, and can you tell the viewers what are the results you've seen so far that you've noticed since starting the program? Um, well, um, during, after, so after the second surgery, I lost my period for a while too. That's starting to come back regularly mm. and I don't have as much, pain with it still I'm still mm. progressing I think I've still got a long way to go in terms of mm. perfect gut health but mm. it's um, amazing how far I've come um, after my knee surgery they were taking my blood pressure and it was starting to rise and I was really conscious of that coming from a family with high blood pressure mm. um, now since being on new strength I had some blood tests done and it's all back to spot on levels so I've never had any trouble with blood pressure but it's back down to spot on now yeah. so that's awesome I'm really really happy with that all my blood levels were in perfect range so obviously I had a blood test done after my head just to check everything was okay and nothing had been missed and it was all perfect like spot yeah. on level so oh, great. That was, I'm really happy with that yeah um my hair has grown back so when I spoke to a hairdresser and everything with having a flat repair here so I've got scarring that comes down along there they weren't sure if I would get any how my hair would grow there so but you can see I've got yeah. I've got hair there now. Yeah. <laughs> I've got enough to cover the skin graft and um, some hair has come back on the skin graft, like not a lot, but some mm. has come back, which wasn't expected either. And yeah. um, the doctor at the time said to me, you know, your hair goes under a stress and you'll lose more and then some will grow back, some may not. But mine has actually grown back thicker and healthier than it was before it. So, yeah, I'm really, really happy with that. That's And the hairdresser was amazed, actually, yeah. at how much it changed. So, yeah, it was really good. The scarring, I go to a guy who does um, you know, structural integration work and he works on scars. Mm. And my scarring, particularly this one here, has flattened out and moves well. So my skin has all sort of not totally healed, but, you know, it's quite good mm. there and on my head as well. Mm. So the scarring, he's noticed it too. He's noticed some of the regrowth of the tissue around it, things like that, because he works with the fascia, mm. fascia tissue. I mm. completely understand that. But anyway, that's what he does. Oh, me either. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it's amazing what he does. Um, and then, like, I've had comments on how much better my skin looks on a whole. So yeah. that's been really positive as well. Um, I've got eyebrows and eyelashes <laughs> coming back. I've yeah. had to <laughs> that's annoying i'm like that would have been one yeah. good thing of not having to shave your legs for six months i'm like yay but yeah. not at the expense of having no hair and no eyelashes yeah yeah oh. that, that is true um i've got more energy um when i had done my knee i um wasn't getting a glute growing back on the left hand side where i'd done my knee because i went for a long time without using it so the glute was there but it was so weak and i actually like I'd do up pants and one leg would be tight and the other one wasn't because mm. there was not much there. But that's actually coming back to nearly being the same. So mm. whatever's happened there, the muscle growth, whatever it is, has been positive anyway. So it's coming back to sort of balanced, I suppose. Mm. Um, mm. And that that'd be probably going on for 18 months. No, it'd be, it'd be over 12 months now since my last surgery on that. So that's really good. I'm, I'm happy with that too. So... Oh, amazing. Um, I know my gut health is heaps better. My digestion is heaps better. I haven't had any constipation since going on new strength, which is a big one because I would go through, you know, constipation sometimes and then going to the toilet all the time. And I even asked the doctors to do, a, you know, a diabetes check because yeah. I was sometimes getting dizzy and feeling sick and my dad's the diabetic, so I'm like, oh, maybe I should get that checked out. And, yeah, yeah all of it, back to normal, feeling good, not having those dizzy spells and that sort of stuff. So, yeah, I'm 
I'm really happy with it. Isn't it amazing when you just put good, what happens when you put good nutrient rich food into you? Like, yeah. yeah. And that, like, once when I started New Strength, um, I know that you say to increase the calories slowly. I probably mm. I needed a lot more, probably quickly, I suppose. Mm. So I just started increasing it quite large jumps, I suppose. Mm. And felt so much better. I slept better too because mm-hmm. I was in, it, with all the drugs and stuff, I was at a point of insomnia where, you know, I'd be awake mm. two o'clock in the morning and not sleeping and stuff like that. So, oh. yeah. Um, yeah sleep You're sleeping right better. through now? You're sleeping right through the night? Uh, not, not always. And that's yeah. what I think tells me that I'm not 100% there with all my gut health and metabolism yeah. and everything. But, yeah. yeah, definitely better. I can get through with maybe only waking up once now. Oh, that's brilliant. Um, yeah, I know, which before it was three or four times. And, uh, yeah. You're just so exhausted. Yeah. That's yeah, just I like, I think everyone just feels, when you can have a good sleep, it's like, I wrote this post this morning because I like had a really good sleep. I, the night before I didn't have a great sleep, so I did, did like a big heavy deadlift day and I always never, I think I need to drink, eat a bit more carbs, I think, but I didn't have a great sleep, so I was really tired yesterday and so I ate more food and then I had a really good sleep last mm-hmm. night. Got up, had a coffee, did a big poo and I was like, yeah, I feel really good. Like, you know, like you take it for granted. Just being able to do a normal big poo every day. Like, you just feel like refreshed. Yeah, you do. Actually, you feel lighter. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's these simple things: sleep and pooing. Sleep and pooing. Yeah. You feel so much better. I know. Oh, oh, well, that's. Yeah. Oh, I know. It's crazy. Um. Oh, that's that's so awesome. And now, Tammy, some of the um you know, because we get a lot of women who are thinking about joining the program and mm-hmm. some of the main objections w- we get is um, number one is money. So they're like, oh, yep. I don't know whether I should invest this sort of money into myself. Um, do you feel you've gotten value for the money you've invested in the program? Oh, definitely. I What I was looking for was someone to tell me, you know, what I needed to get healthy mm. and I have tried other people before and not have the same success or the willingness to stick with it like I have this time, I actually feel like my life is in now. So, you know, we've all tried different things, but this time I actually feel like, yeah, this is this is just a life change I can stick with. I'm really happy with it. Oh, totally. Who doesn't like eating, like, proper nice yummy food again um, and not starving yourself too, which is so good. Yeah. <laughs> um, right. And the second one, and you're a mum and you work full time, so, you know, a lot of, women are saying, oh, I'm too busy, Kitty. I'm too busy to do this program. What would you say to that? Um, I'm probably one of those too, like, because, you know, everybody thinks that when they start a new program, am I going to have the time to do this Mm. and that sort of thing? Um, I actually found a few things. So, you know, when you try and stick to a diet, my household, being two males in the household as well, they wouldn't want to eat friggin' broccoli and chicken for dinner. (laughs) <laughs> um, so I actually found it saves time because now we can eat all the same stuff. Like, you know, they love mashed potato and, and steak and all that sort of thing too. So, um, I'm not preparing two separate meals or I'm not cooking spaghetti bolognese and taking my minutes out first and then they can add what they want to it for theirs. You know, yeah. that saved me time. It saved me time in the shopping as well. And I think it saved us money too, because, um, you're planning your food and I don't have all this extra shit sitting in my food anymore. Uh, uh, sorry, yeah. <laughs> in my fridge anymore. Like, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Buy that and go, oh, yeah, we'll eat that, we'll eat that, we'll eat that, that, and then you don't, you throw it out. Whereas now when I know roughly what we're going to plan out for the week and what we're going to have for the next three or four days, you have that stocked in your fridge and there's not the wastage that there used to be. Mm, totally. I find that same thing. Like we eat everything that we buy, I think, because you don't yeah. buy all this bloody like health food crap that you just, you know, ends up sitting in the cupboard or veggies that you don't bloody eat because they're gross. Um, <laughs> and the, the third one is um, some women are worried about doing it online. You know, obviously we don't see you face-to-face. We do Zoom calls and stuff like this. But how have you found the program online, the support, how it's delivered, just the structure? I really like, I think your structure that you have in place now is better than when I started because it ticks mm. off things and you've got to check in i think that makes you more accountable Mm. um because you did you you obviously started before we implemented the module system i think you must have yeah yeah, because we're constantly evolving and trying to improve and improve how we deliver the program 
Sorry, keep going. I think that's great. Um, I think, too, that everybody, when they do it, needs to remember their own journey. Like, for mm. me, I got a bit anxious at the start thinking, okay, well, I'm not doing the same exercise, I'm not doing this like everyone mm. else, but I had to remember what my goals were for the program and that was just to eat enough food to make sure I was healthy yeah. at the end of it and then I could worry about the other parts of it. But yeah. it was really that I could, I could go along and read it, I could jump on calls if I wanted to, um, yeah. I had people, you know, if I fell behind or hadn't checked in with a meal plan, you know, Melissa or um, April, April yeah. can go, hey, how going? How's your training going? How's your food going? How are you feeling? Yeah. You know, make sure. I know I had a call from April at one point to help me, you know, back on track and things like that and have a chat. So, you know, there's plenty of help there. You've got to reach out for it. But it's okay to have a look at what's online and read it and go along with it at your own pace and then go, oh, hey, maybe now I need help with this because I'm just at the point now where I'm going back and looking at things that like in the exercise that wasn't I didn't wasn't really using before but I am now so my focus is slowly changing so yeah I really like it online that's a that's a perfect attitude to have too because you know like um one of our standards is we don't compare our start to someone else's middle or end because you can't everyone's on their own journey and it's about like you say moving at your own pace and just attacking it one bit at a time um yeah. you know and everyone's going to have different different goals so yeah that that's perfect that's a perfect that well done to have thanks yeah and why are you I, doing so good <laughs> yeah. well I, I looked at things i guess my goal was i looked at things that people were saying were definitely helping so i made sure i was having the liver mm. really weekly and yep. oysters quickly for because yep. I wanted those vitamins and I knew that was part of what was good for my skin and, and health as well. Um, and just eating the part like the bone broth oh, and the man. oxtail. Stuff, oh, I, I know, I love me too. Yeah. Well, we grew up when I grew up, um, we were it was a kill your own thing, so dad always mm. killed our own meat. And oh, wow. when that happened, we always had liver for dinner that night, and you know, as kids, you hate it. And, yep. But mum and dad were always saying, no, it's really good for you. Yeah. Um, we would also have the oxtail and things like that too, and I absolutely loved oxtail stew. So some of this stuff that we're eating is like going back to the way I was oh. eating as a kid, and I really like it. Totally. It's just good whole food. Eat the whole animal. Don't waste yeah. it. Good quality dairy, fruits, yeah. you know, homemade food. Um, yeah, totally. Yeah. It's, it's not this yeah. – everyone thinks it's this fucking crazy diet. It's like it's nothing. It's just yeah. good old-fashioned food, really. That's all it is. Yeah, milk. I love milk. milk. I, I can't remember the last time I would drink just a glass of milk. So now I put it in nearly every night before bed. Like I feel like I can't sleep unless I have a big glass of milk now. So, oh, so I love an orange juice. Oh, gosh. Oh, that was I love orange milk. juice too, eh? It's like one of my favourite, yeah. and potatoes, I think, with salt and butter. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and cause my mum was really bad, but as kids growing up, she'd always mash the potatoes, but you'd always see her get a spoon with a little bit of butter on it and a big spoon of mashed potato, and she'd eat that to herself before she served up. And, like, that was, that was what we used to have as kids. And oh, I am really loving that. Like, orange juice was a saviour for me when I didn't feel like eating, and you yeah. had that and you had milk. You're at least feeling okay, and yep, you and know. you're getting some good nutrients into you too, like they're nutrient-rich liquids, um, mm -hmm. which is really good. Oh, that's awesome. Um, and finally, if a woman was skeptical and she was sitting on the fence about doing the program, what would you say to her? Uh, I'll just say, just do it. I mean, <laughs> I, I'm just like a hundred things running through my head, and I know that at one point. Um, talking to a friend of mine when we've been talking about different things that we've done over time, she said to me. We worry about cost and she said, mm. what if you put away the money that you spent on takeaway coffee or a bottle of wine over the next month, you're probably finally paying for it anyway. Mm. And there's that much help there online. It really doesn't take long to get, you know, get into the swing of things, I suppose. There's yeah. no real reason to be sceptical. Yeah. Um, it's just, it just feels like back to normal. It feels like <laughs> I'm eating with that kid again. <laughs> And that's a good feeling. It saves me time. It saves me money in terms of not overspending. Yeah. And there's plenty of help there when I ask for it. Yeah. And I've tried asking other people before for the same things and yeah. just haven't had the results that I'm getting now. So, yeah, it's definitely worth it. 
Oh, thank, well, thank you so much. I'm so pleased for you. I just, I really love doing this. I love to hear because myself, like I just know how freeing it is and how like now that you just, yeah. you can focus on other shit, but like, you can just do life now better, you yeah. know? So I'm so pleased that you're feeling so well and your hair's growing back and I'm you I'm wouldn't even well. see, you, you can't even see it. Like you wouldn't even no. know looking front on at you like the, that you'd had that done. Mm-hmm. No, you can't. I actually, like, my hair has grown over it enough that you can't see it when people look at me. It's only, yeah. you know, if it moves or, you know, yeah. blows up or I show people that it's there, which is a real surprise. That yeah. that was, yeah, we didn't know how it was going to happen. So, oh, so good, yeah. so good. Oh, well, thanks so much for taking some time out. I know you're really busy and if you're a woman and you're watching this and, yeah, you just want to improve your health and your life and, feel good again and sleep well and have good energy and if your hair's falling out, you want your hair to grow back <laughs> um, and your eyebrows, although you have to shave your legs again. Um, click yeah. on the link below and fill in the short application form and then you'll be taken to our group booking calendar. You can just have a chat to one of my coaches and see whether or not the program is a good fit for you. So that was really awesome, Tammy. Thank you so much and I hope you have a really um, great Christmas and I'll, I'll talk to you in the program. Thanks. Okay. Same to you. Bye. Thanks, Kitty. Bye. Bye.